Pelicans with broken wings found up and down the Brevard Coast since early last week. West 2's Brevard County Bureau Chief Scott Heidler went to one rescue hospital who told him there are indications humans are behind these injuries. Severely injured brown pelicans, dozens of them coming through the doors at the Florida Wildlife Hospital in Palm Shores. The beginning of last week, we started to see um, an unusual number of pelicans with very similar, um, very uh, severe traumatic wing injuries. Over 40 so far, when during normal times they might see two or three. We are already seeing a pattern in the types of breaks that we're seeing. Um, the types of fractures that we're seeing that um, could be consistent with human involvement. Blue World Research Institute was brought in, specialists in veterinary forensics. We feel strongly that the, um, that the injuries that we're seeing are consistent with blunt force trauma. Found in a wide area along the Brevard Coast here, wildlife hospital officials say that that suggests that these injuries are happening offshore. They get injured, they can't fly, and they ultimately float ashore. And the vast majority of the pelicans found with such severely injured wings have to be euthanized. Necropsies have been performed, and this could help in the investigation of how and where they were gravely injured. We also do it as sort of a place marker because we, we can say, okay, this, this bird fed on a certain species of fish, and we can put it in, in the environment where that fish exists. Only three of the pelicans rescued have injuries that will heal enough so that they can ultimately be released. FWC has been notified of the Wildlife Hospital's findings. I don't know if we'll ever find the answers, but I'm so happy that we are we have the resources and the partners now that can help us at least collect evidence and information. On the Brevard Coast, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.